Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is what surprise is coming in for you? What surprise is around the corner? What's something you're not expecting? Before we get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right, pile one, red. Pile two, plaid. Pile three, blue. Take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and we'll see uh, what surprise is in store for you. All right, pile one, you chose red. Let's get some cards. Five of Wands, the Emperor, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, I was going to say Ace of Spades, um, and the Chariot. <laughs> well, you have an opportunity coming in. You have an opportunity here that you might be conflicted about. Do I take it? Is it too good to be true? I don't know if this is going to benefit me in the long run. There's going to be questions about it. I'm leaning towards this being a very good opportunity for you, something that you're going to want, something that you will do it, but there is going to be a little bit of conflict. Like, do I have to give something up in order to take this? Or maybe like you have to, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just going to take up some more of your time. I don't know, but I do feel like it's going to be an opportunity that's meant for you. It's going to be a pleasant surprise. Um, but it is going to leave you questioning. But that's okay, because there's a lot of things we could question, right? So I still think it's something very positive coming in for you, something that you might not be expecting, you know? It's an opportunity that like, kind of shows up, and you're like, wow, this is great, but what do I do? You're going to know. You're going to know. You got the chariot. It's just, it's going to be a success. So, and you know, Ace of Pentacles could always be more money coming in. So maybe it's like a better job opportunity, or maybe it's an opportunity to, I don't know, make some money on the side. I don't know, but it looks like, uh, it looks like you're about to take charge of your life here and do something for that benefits you and maybe only you. Let's see. You got the star, so a wish come true. And then you got the hierophant, which again is looking for answers, right? Seeking that knowledge. You go to a spiritual teacher for knowledge. So you might be questioning this, but again, I still feel like it's a great opportunity for you. You know, it could be an opportunity like, oh, I'm being offered an amazing job, but it's long distance. Do I want to leave my family behind? Something along those lines. I don't know. Um, doesn't have to necessarily be that, but that could be why you're questioning it, right? It's, you know, it's a good opportunity. You know, it's going to benefit you in the long run, but there's something that you're like conflicted about. I don't know what it is. But get ready for new horizons. Get ready for something new. Something new, something positive. It's definitely meant for you. It's definitely on its way for you. Something exciting. Commune with Source. There's <laughs> your looking for answers. There's your higher fit. You're going to start, you know, you know, please give me a sign. Tell me what I should do. How, how should I go about this? Should I take it? Should I not? Do I move forward in this direction? Do I, you know, stay where I'm at or go in a different direction? Like you're going to be asking yourself questions or asking source. Um, go ahead and ask. Hopefully they'll give you a very clear answer. But I kind of feel like the answer is this new opportunity is meant for you. 
convey your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. With yourself is most important. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. So this is saying don't BS anyone, especially yourself. Don't kid yourself. Um, but also, like, be careful with the way that you speak to yourself. No negative self-talk. All right. What's coming in is meant for you. Let's be happy about it. And let's figure out a way we can make it happen. You're going to be in the emperor mood. You're going to take charge. You're going to, you're going to know what to do. So don't beat yourself up about anything, like a, maybe a difficult decision you have to make. It's one that's meant for you. Otherwise, it would not be presenting itself to you. And again, be honest. Have honest communication with whoever you're dealing with. Right? Don't BS anyone. No, you might have to let go. You might have to let go of something, but look at those doors. Again, I've told you op an opportunity is coming in. You got to just walk through the door. It might be difficult. Look, the dogs are trying to hold the girl back from walking through the door. So something might be trying to hold you back from this opportunity. Don't let it. Don't let it. It's meant for you. Achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the fem oh, forget that one. Enjoying the limelight. You've earned it. Achievement. So this means that something that you've worked for, worked towards, is about to pay off. So if you've been working hard on your career, you're going to be advancing in some way. If you've been studying really hard, maybe you're getting, you know, the degree that you wanted. If you've been uh, looking for love, maybe you're going to find your soulmate. Whatever it is, you're about to achieve something. It'll be a wish come true. You got the black cat, which is about feeling like you don't deserve something or feeling like you lost your magic. And I think what this card is saying is that it's not that you lost your magic. It's just something had to happen in divine timing. And now it's coming in. It's going to take you by surprise. So maybe there is something like you started to give up on or you thought something would never happen. Whatever it is, it's about to happen. Now, you've got flower, which says be honest with yourself. So again, no BS. Like, same message as this. Like, don't BS yourself. Don't BS others, but don't BS yourself. <sighs> be honest with yourself. Be honest with your feelings. Be honest what you want in life. You know, at least acknowledge the fact that this opportunity is something that you've wanted, something that you've been working towards. Whether you take it or not, again, that is up to you. You have free will. I do feel like it's meant for you, and I do feel like it would be in your highest good to take this opportunity, but you don't have to. Nobody's telling you what you can or can't do in this lifetime. This life is yours to live. But at least acknowledge your true feelings. Like, don't try to say you didn't want something because somebody doesn't, somebody else doesn't want you to do it or doesn't want that for you or whatever it is. Like, just don't lie to yourself. All right, keep it real with you. All right, now. What are we going to do? I guess we're pulling some charms. <laughs> I'm like... Where's my bag? All right, so I hope this opportunity is something really amazing. It does feel like it's a really great opportunity. It just might give you pause. That's all. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's a gift. You have a gift coming in. 
this is going to make you feel like you have phoenix energy if you're feel you've been feeling like you have lost your magic this is going to empower you again this is going to make you feel alive this does almost feel like a love connection coming in like if you haven't dated anybody in a long time and you feel like you're not dateable or you know you're not <laughs> You're not uh, lovable. This is going to say, no, you are. The magic is returning and it's your time to shine. That's what it kind of feels like. But you did get the wrench and that may, always means for me that you, there's something you can fix. I don't know if something was broken, but uh, maybe you just felt like it was broken and now it's going to feel like it's fixed. But you also got something coming full circle. So... You take that how it resonates for you, but something can come be coming back around again. Either way, it doesn't matter because you have the key to success. And like I said, it's your time to shine. All right. There is some security here. So this isn't something that you have to be afraid of. And this is something this is something that's going to make you blossom and bloom into life and, and, and be radiant and have more beauty. Now, you did get the book of love, so maybe it is the next chapter in your book of love. You got the hedgehog where they're saying, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid. This is meant for you. The last thing you have is the lotus flower, which is peace, harmony, alignment. What's coming in is meant for you. You might question it. You might be scared of it. But it's meant for you. All right, Pile One, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. All right, Pile Two, if you chose plaid, then this one's your reading. Let's get some cards. The sun, the high priestess, the hermit, ace of swords, King of Wands. Look at that. Great cards. Well, you know Sun is like... For me, it's the second best card in the deck. But for most people, it is the best card in the deck. It's pure happiness and joy, excitement. Something to celebrate. Something to be happy about. Trusting your intuition. Something's coming in that you just have to feel confident about. Trust your gut on this one. Um, uh, hermit for some reason it's making me feel like something you took a time out from or something that like didn't come in right away and um, that's what's coming in for you it is a new beginning here it's like a fresh start it feels like um but it's something that you're going to be passionate about something that you're going to be able to build build upon so i don't know if it's like something to do with your future where you're going to be like building an empire or building a family but it feels like you're going to be building something it's something that you're passionate about something you're excited about it feels like it's a fresh start all right so it does feel like you might have been in hermit mode for a little bit questioning things um but i feel like now this fresh start is coming in and it's going to be uh pretty exciting for you something that you want pleasant surprise very happy it's going to make you very happy just trust your intuition on it don't doubt it you know you know know that this is meant for you and uh see where the life takes you because i think it's going to take you where you want to be look it's time for a celebration could ha this could have something to do with love look it's time to celebrate maybe you're going to get married no, I don't know. It doesn't have to be that, but that looks pretty promising if that's what you're looking for. Anyway, uh, the lovers could be a choice, right? A decision to make. Um, if it's not, you know, in a, if we're not talking about a love interest here, it could be talking about a decision because sometimes the lovers is a choice between two. But 
I'm just kind of feeling more like this is you're going to have somebody by your side with this new chapter in your life, this new beginning that you're going to start building on. Like I did say, it could be that you're starting to build a family, you're starting to build some kind of empire together with someone, with a soulmate. So... Through gratitude, joy expands. So be grateful for whatever this surprise is that's coming in because when you're grateful for it, your, your heart's just going to swell. It's just going to be huge and it's going to be so happy. <laughs> you know, life is going to be good for a while here with these cards. Life is going to be good. Tangibility. Make your dreams real. So there's a saying that you can do this now. You can build this. You can have what you want, what you've always dreamt of. You can have it. It's now tangible. It's like within your grasp. You can almost touch it or taste it or reach for it. You know, I told you, you're building something here. Life is better together. I guess it is a love right here. Life is better together. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family and friends or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. So this is saying you don't have to do anything alone. That you will have people who will love and support you. Right? Somebody who will have your back. I know I cleaned this yesterday. And now like it's like more stuff is falling from the ceiling. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah. You're, you're going to have a reason to celebrate. You're going to build something with maybe a, a lover, a romantic partner. I don't know. feels really good, whatever it is. But you're, you're, this is, it's, all right. So the card says playing it safe. And what I'm really getting from that is that it's not time to play it safe anymore. That's what you have been doing. This now, this opportunity, this new opportunity coming in is a time for you to take charge with passion and gusto. Really go for it. It's not time to play it safe anymore. We're, we're now reaching for our dreams, right? Because now you have the support behind you and you have, you know, you have it. You can feel it. It's like within your grasp. Sunshine, look at this. Complete happiness is coming in. Pose brave flight. You will not let fear stop you this time. Oh, so this might have been something that stopped you before. Maybe you didn't go for it before. You were playing it safe. This time, you're not. It's not time to play it safe now. Now, this time... This time it's coming back around again, whatever this opportunity is, a fresh start. I think that's what I said in the beginning. It's meant for you. Oh, you need to forgive yourself for what didn't happen the last time, what didn't happen in the past. You need to forgive yourself and not, not to hold yourself back from this because it's coming back around again, it feels like. You have this new fresh start you have support you have all the tools here to make to build something great so forgive yourself for any mistakes that you've made in the past okay they were they were learning blocks you know they were building blocks to this great future you're having because this time you're getting it right and it's okay to think of you and only you like think for yourself i know sometimes that feels selfish but if this is a decision you have to make for you, then you, that's what you need to do. All right. I, I, look, you got the sun twice. This is a whole lot of happiness coming in. A whole lot of happiness. So let's, uh, let's pull some charms here. What do we have? We have... Uh, my broken music adapter <laughs> forget the broken part 
but the music adapter so something's going to be music to your ears again music makes you happy music you know makes you move music can be very healing so all really good stuff right it means that this is a good thing coming in you do have a big heart you do have the crown so again take charge now it's your time to shine this is your moment you can build something amazing here it is a wish come true it is oh here you did get another star time time to shine something you didn't give up on you were the camel you persisted you might not have been taking much action or you might have been playing it safe but you never lost hope right so now this opportunity coming in this gift is like now's it's your time this is your time now don't be afraid you are protected with the jaguar right it's time for you to make the magic happen it's time for you to blossom to bloom to open up and to just shine there's abundance ready for you abundance it's like you planted the seeds earlier with those acorns all right and now they're growing right now they're growing now they're going to be blossoming so the seeds were planted you did you know the initial work maybe there was a gestation period where you had to have a little bit of a time out but now it's time to start growing and shining blossoming and blooming whatever this is it's going to bring so much happiness and i'm so happy for you so keep smiling be grateful and uh you know the world is at your feet now all right pile two give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave me a comment all those things help me and i appreciate you for it until next time love and light hi pile three if you chose blue then this one is for you here we go two of swords eight of cups king of pentacles the magician eight of swords all right so we've got those eights that's telling you that everything is falling into place but i have a feeling like you might not think that they are so this truly is a surprise for you something is falling into place we just kind of have to get over the hump right i feel like you've kind of been stuck or in limbo here and uh you you're afraid you're going to be stuck forever um but i want you to know you're not you are going to finally take charge of your life you're going to finally make a decision to leave it all behind and go in a different direction it feels like because you're tired of being stuck now you're afraid to make this decision you're afraid you're making a mistake by leaving something behind but i think you really need to i really feel like uh, something hasn't been working for you i don't know why i'm feeling that way but i'm feeling like it hasn't been working for you you really need to make a choice and when like i think you've known that you need to make a decision but you've been afraid to make the decision or you have been putting it off because you don't want to make this decision but you're going to get to a point where it's time it's time for you to take control of your own destiny and you're going to attract something really positive in right because of it it might not be what you wanted or what you've been holding on to why you haven't been making a decision but it's going to be something else that's that might even be even better for you right you're attracting something very positive into your life something that's going to be very successful for you but you gotta let go of something first it looks like so let's see we've got the six of wands victory after the battle and five of pentacles so yeah so you it, once you make your decision to like finally take control of your own life that you your destiny is in your own hands we create our own reality so once you like start to understand like i can't expect someone else or i can't be waiting on something 
to make me happy in life. I've got to take control of my own happiness and do what's right for me. And maybe you haven't known what was right for you, but you've been feeling like you need, like you've been feeling restless. You've been feeling unsatisfied. It's time for that change. But I kind of feel like you're afraid to make the change because you don't want to be alone in this world. And you feel like making a change. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. It kind of feels like you're holding on to a person or a memory. And you're afraid to let go of that completely because then you would be completely alone in this world. You'd have no one and you're not holding on to something because even holding on gives you a little bit of comfort. And this card is, is saying, I mean, these cards, these cards are saying this energy is saying like you've been holding on long enough. It's it's time again to take control of your own life and your own destiny. Make the magic happen. It's in your hands. So it might be a little scary, and I get that. But uh, you know what you got to do. Believe in the magic. That's what you got to do. Believe that the magic is coming. Believe in yourself. You're the magician here. You're attracting. You're manifesting. Trust yourself. Trust that you, you deserve something amazing in your life and that you're good enough to attract it to you. Everything in perfect balance, another eight. And exactly that's what the eights are saying. Like everything's now the time. It, the time is now to make the decision. Everything's coming into alignment now. Like you're starting to realize you need to let go. You're starting to realize that you're just, you've just been afraid. You're starting to realize that you're worthy of something amazing. You're starting to realize that you're capable of it. So everything's coming into alignment now. So if you've been stuck, now's the time to make a change. Gliding through the currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behaviors into the flow will help your dreams take flight. So again, this is what I was saying, like you're starting to realize everything. You're starting to realize that you can have something different. You can have a life. It kind of feels like you haven't been living. Not not to the fullest. Not, you know, you've just kind of been like um, surviving, you know, just kind of. Uh, living day by day, but not really uh, enjoying life, not really taking the bull by the horns, not really making things happen, just kind of, kind of just, you know, floating. No, well, it's time to now like get in the current. It's time for you to get into that current and start flowing with the water, flowing with the energy. Time's now. Yeah, the victim mentality that you've been holding on to, you know, why'd they leave me? Why don't they love me? Why am I not good enough? Why with all that victim stuff? Mm -mm, it's done. Out the window. You know now that that was all BS. If I haven't told you enough, if you've been watching my videos and I haven't told you enough, I, I don't know. Like, I think it's finally sinking in here. You guys know. You guys know that that victim mentality brings you more loneliness. You got to let that go. Got to start believing. Because when you do, when you start getting into that flow of positive energy, guess what? More positive flows to you. You're not a victim. All right. Things don't happen to you. They happen for you. I know it's hard to it's hard to realize that sometimes, but it is the truth. It's hard to it's hard to accept. Travel, long distance communication will open up your life. All right. So somebody from a distance from you is making you is changing your life in some way. Heck, it could even be me. You listening to this re reading, realizing, you know what? Christina's correct. I've got to start living for me. 
I can't, I can't stay stuck anymore. I got to take the bull by the horns and start making my life worth living. So somebody's going to open you up to something, right? There's going to be some long distance communication. So maybe a friend who lives somewhere will give you a call and say, come visit. And then maybe you like that visit and you meet somebody there or you want to move there or you want to change life up. I don't know, but it's time for you to just, you don't have to make huge, big, major moves to change your life, right? To start living again. You can make small ones, but just realize that you've got to live your life for you. Well, you don't got to do anything, but you know, it's time for you to do that. You can achieve great things. You really can. What, what is it that you want in life? Go for it. Don't be afraid. You know, the, the worst something can happen is somebody tells you no. You can't have that. And then you can either say, watch me. <laughs> like I do. I take that approach. I take the hard approach <laughs> sometimes. Or you could say, okay, I'll go and I'll, then I'll take this instead. Uh, this is, you know, this is even better. And you take a different path. But you can achieve amazing things in your life. Open yourself up. Open your mind up a little bit. Right? Don't be so stuck on a certain path or a certain direction. There's so many different ways you can go. There's so many pathways. So many roads you can travel. Anyway, Castle, it's time for healing, not war. So I don't really think that you're fighting with anybody. I don't think that you're going to make war with anybody. I think this card is just saying, you know, it's time for you to heal yourself. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to feel worthy. It's time for you to, again, take charge of your destiny. You create your future. What do you want it to look like? Do you want to sit home being lonely every day? Or do you want to go out and have fun? Do you want to have amazing experiences and enjoy life? Start having amazing experiences. It's really not that hard. Sometimes when we are socially phobic, the way that I was for the longest time, we have a hard time doing things by ourselves, but it does get easier. The more you do it, the more you force yourself out of the box, the easier it becomes. So, uh, yeah, just make a point to make yourself uncomfortable. If you make yourself uncomfortable, eventually... You won't be uncomfortable with that thing that you're doing that makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> You'll be comfortable with it. Then you can go on and be uncomfortable about something else. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let, let me pull you a few charms. But you got some good stuff coming in. It's just, uh, you know, you just got to recognize your worth and your strength. Smiles. You're going to have a reason to smile. And there's some love here, right? We know you've been at a crossroads probably at a while, for a while now. And, you know, you just want the scales to be balanced. You just, you just want to be happy again. You're worried about your security, but you're going to be okay. Here's your numbers. Here's your synchronized numbers, your 222. Look for the signs. But again, that 222 is saying the time's now. You're in alignment. Everything's in balance right now. The time is ripe for this. You have your angel wing and your washer that says angel, angelic. So I'm telling you, your angels have got you. They're supporting you and they're like giving you a little bit of a nudge here. Go for something. Go for something that makes you happy. Do something about not being stuck anymore, getting back into the flow and being happy, making your magic happen for you. Believe in the magic. It's there. All right, Pile 3, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light.